Hello friends, I have a little bonus content for you and let me say I have been remiss. I went through the entire New Testament, not really focusing on the Joseph Smith translation and my most remiss of when I taught my seminary class about Revelation chapter 12. Remember that when there's the woman in labor and her feet are the moon and let's see, ah, she's clothed in the sun and then there's this great dragon that comes and, oh, what does all this mean? I don't know. Well, for one thing, you can check out Doctrine and Covenants section 77, but another thing you can do is look at the Joseph Smith translation and I can't believe I did not share this. Okay, so here we have, actually, I'm gonna turn the camera top side down to show you. It'll be better that way. Revelation chapter 12, right before even the first word of the first verse, you can see that teeny tiny A that tells you to go down into the footnotes. 12, 1 A is the JST for Revelation 1 to 17. That is the Joseph Smith translation in the appendix. So we have our Bible. Then we go to the end of the Bible. We've got our topical guide. Let's keep going past the Bible dictionary, past the harmony of the Gospels. We're almost there. Into the Joseph Smith translation. What is the Joseph Smith translation? I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, this is selected portions of the Joseph Smith translation of the King James Version of the Bible, where the Lord inspired the prophet Joseph Smith to restore truths to this version of the Bible that had been lost or changed since the original words were written. So he didn't change the Bible. He put in footnotes so that we can find these additional truths. And when I turn to Revelation 12, how great is this? So it talks about how there appeared a great sign in the heaven and in the likeness of things on the earth. That's what the sign was. It was in likeness of things on the earth. There was a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and she wore a crown. And the woman was, you know, in, you know, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Then it says she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and his. So this little section here. The little parts in the italics are different than what is in the King James Version. It says right here at the beginning that the italics have been added to show differences from the King James Version wording. So this happens throughout the Bible. The really big chunks are at the back here in the Joseph Smith translation. And other times, you'll just find a Joseph Smith translation in the footnotes. Maybe it's just a word or two. For example, Revelation chapter 9, verse 1. And to the angel was given the key. It's just something smaller and easier where they can fit it here. So um, that's super important. And I am sorry that I did not touch on that this year. Good information. It's never too late to learn. So I hope that helps. I hope that you have a great day. And as you study your scriptures, you find what you need. I will see you next time as I'm doing all of this bonus content. Bye-bye.